What's up, Zoo Keepers? Welcome back. Hey, man, this is a special video. I got my best friend, one-third of the Gorilla Squad, my boy Corey. This video was actually inspired by him. Y'all remember when I did the uh, Sony PlayStation VR? Man, he chewed into my butt. <laughs> <laughs> when I tell y'all, if y'all go read the comments, the comments didn't do nothing to the text. He was he laid it to me. Hey, I'm sorry. Hey, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I know. I had to so the truth. He so what he did was he he enlightened me, and I was kind of naive uh, into the VR world, not the VR experience itself, but just the world of the VR. And I found some interesting things that he showed me on uh, videos and everything. And when I tell y'all that's my best friend, that's my best friend. He's gonna tell me right or wrong. So. What, yeah, we all know the Sony PlayStation uh, VR2 coming out in February. So what I told him that my idea was I'm gonna get all of the major brand VR and when the Sony PlayStation 2 VR come out, me and him, Zookeeper's gonna bring y'all a nice comparison of it. Now, as you can see, this is the whole Oculus family. From the original uh, Samsung VR that you put with a phone to the Quest 1, Quest 2, and the Rift. Now, I don't know specs like one-third of the Gorilla Squad. Corey, that joker no specs. Now, I'm going to turn it over to him. Zookeepers, I'm still here. He's going to give y'all the one-two punch like he gave me. Hopefully, it's going to be some eye-opening things like he did for me. Uh, Corey? Yeah, so basically a lot of people, you know, they have a, a strong opinion one way or the other about VR. They've either had a really good experience or they've either had a really bad experience. Um, a lot of people started out in VR with maybe like the Gear VR up there at top and they were like, oh, it's whatever, you know, a lot of, lot of limitations, there's nothing really going on, you're just kind of given a visual experience. Um, but then the Quest came out and the Rift came out and... People were like, oh, okay, this is cool, but a lot of people were like, well, dang, that's got a lot of motion blur. It's got a lot of, like, motion sickness type vibes with it. So, you know, over time, it kept improving, and we came out to the Quest 2, which is, in my opinion, the best bang for the buck VR headset, period. It's got more uh, resolution, and it's got a faster refresh rate than anything on this table right here. Also, it's more, uh, more powerful than the PlayStation VR. No. And, and let me let me yeah. interject. That's what he that's what he got into my butt about. Yeah. Now uh, piggybacking off what he said, I started in VR with that Samsung VR. My friend uh, Rippy had the uh, uh, Android, and he got this VR like a week or two when it came out. Invited me over to the house, and I played it. He had a uh, airplane, uh, no, a, a, a bird flying simulated game, and it was. Another game he let me play them. Exactly what Corey said. We when you sweat, the screen get blurred. You kept having to wipe the screen and uh, or, or the phone. And when when the bird was taking flight, like your stomach was turning, and uh, his phone overheated in that Samsung VR set. Wow. So exactly what Corey was saying, the blurriness and the sickness. Yeah, I can contest to that because I experienced that when I first started, and I went from. The, song, the Samsung Gear VR straight to the uh, PlayStation. I didn't even go into this. And that's what he was telling me. I was too naive on the subject of VR um, to recommend the PlayStation VR over a lot of these. And like I told him, like I, told him I didn't ever say the, the PlayStation VR was better than these. I just said for the price point. Again, yeah. we argued about that. It's just, it's not bad, but I mean, if you think about it like this, if you don't have anything, you don't have a console, you don't have anything, and you gotta go pick up a PlayStation, and you gotta go pick up a PSVR, it's way more expensive than buying a Quest 2. So then you start out looking at, at specs now. Uh, the resolution on the PlayStation VR is only 960 by 1080 per eye, whereas the Quest 2 is 1832 by 1920. So you've already got a better, crisper picture. Because like when I was playing games, it just looked very pixelated on the PSVR. But on the Quest 2, it looks really good. And there's a lot of advantages to having a PC. Uh, you know, like looking at the Rift S, a lot of people are like, well, I got that, I'm happy with it. But the refresh rate is only 80 hertz. 
So for me, when I tried it, I had a lot of uh, motion sickness, especially playing something that's like fast motion, like a roller coaster, or you're playing like Beat Saber or something. But, um, you know, something like a Valve Index will solve that, but then that's $1,000. But if you put it side by side to the Quest 2, they, I'm telling you, they compete with each other in my opinion. Because you can use the Quest 2 as a standalone headset, or if you got a powerful PC, you can hook it up to your PC and play any kind of VR games that aren't on the Quest 2. So, there's a lot of really nice, cool things about the Quest 2. I hate that it went up in price $100 from where it came out. That kind of made me mad. But... If you're looking for a VR headset, I, I really would strongly suggest that in today's time. You know, maybe and, next year it might be different. I don't know. And that's what he told me, and I had to look at. I was saying the PlayStation price point was better, but like he said, you got to have a PlayStation. So buying a whole uh, PlayStation 4 plus um, buying a PlayStation VR, the, that that cost point caps over the Quest 2 cost point. So. He, he corrected me on that, too. And, and, um, and the games, you know, we talked about that earlier. You mm -hmm. know, there's limited functionality in the games. Like, with the Quest 2, you got hand tracking. Now you can do full body tracking. So if you're playing, like, something like VR Chat, you want to hang out with your friends, and you can have fun and dance, play golf, do all kind of crazy stuff, like fishing, you know, boxing. Literally everything is just way more interactive, and it's a more uh, in-depth experience. And the amount of games and possibilities with either PC VR or Quest VR is unlimited. Like, they're always going to be expanding it. But with the PlayStation VR, if you have that, they're really not making that many more PlayStation 4 games. And a lot of VR games are kind of falling out with PlayStation right now. There's just not as many people that have it. And that's, and that's, and that's correct. Because um, when it first came out, in different countries and in our countries, it was like 20 to 30. And I had to really <laughs> dab into different countries to get them. Mm -hmm. But like he said, as as later on in the PlayStation VR lifespan, them games start scaling back to less and less and less. And really in GameStop, you barely can find one or two VR yeah. games, if any. I had a hard time when I yeah. my PlayStation. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah. the facts. Because I had to get a lot of, most of my VR game came from online. Yep. And that's how I found out that it was something that was country restricted because I didn't know till I started dabbing. I said, oh, okay, well, this one only came out in this region. This one only came out of this region. But like he said, the library is unlimited. Now, what he hit on is what intrigued me, the VR chat. Now, you got to tell him about the VR chat. The VR chat. I mean, it's, it's, it's wild. It's, it's basically... So the metaverse, quote unquote metaverse, was basically a ripoff of VR chat. Yep, yeah, that's right. It is a ripoff. They stole almost everything from it, and they did a worse job at it. The metaverse is absolutely garbage. Adam and friends are kind of like, you know, say, hey, let's all meet up here at this world at like six o'clock at night. Um, there's just way more people on VR chat than there is the metaverse. So that 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 goes to your advantage right there. So if you wanted to play any kind of game, you want to go drifting, you want to go fishing, you want to go uh, play soccer, whatever. You concerts? Concerts? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they got concerts on Quest 2. I watched yeah. Snoop Dogg concert. It was yeah. a Quest 2 exclusive. Exclusive, you're right. And Snoop Dogg was live, like, DJing and doing everything uh, from his basement. <laughs> and it, it was it was a trip, you know. Got to meet and talk to a lot of cool people there, and we were all new to it because it was like one of the first ones, if not the first. And we were like, you you know where to go in here. <laughs> and so we were all helping each other, and so like you kind of build friends, learning together. It's fun. It's it's really fun. I had I've had a lot of good times in in, in VR chat with it. So. And his personal collection, you guys, he has a Quest Two and a Val in Yeah. So he had a thousand dollar one. And he has the quiz too. Plus, he have had the real. Yeah. He have had a. Uh, did you have an index? I got the index, but I had the Rift. I had the Rift S, and I had the Quest Two, and I had a Gear VR, and a few other ones. Okay. But, yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah. It, it was it was like night and day. When I went from the Rift S alone to the Quest Two, it was game changing in my opinion. Just the amount of. The refresh rate that that really helps. So like, if you're watching anything or doing anything, like you'll immediately know notice the difference between 80 hertz and 120 hertz. No more motion sickness. And they they've also done a performance boost on the newer updates for the Quest 2. So it's technically even faster. Yeah, yeah. and I seen they came out with a pro version. Yeah, that one's that one 
competes with the Val Indy. I think that it's one. better. You think so? I think so. Spec wise, I heard it's better. I haven't really paid much attention, but I think. And it looked I like think, glasses. It don't yeah. look like this yeah. headsets. It looked like big, like yeah, eighty glasses. Yeah. I mean, the Valve Index is getting up there in the age. I mean, it's it's a couple years old now, but I just I honestly think that it's overpriced for what it is. It's 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 controversial. But it's one of those like tanks. It's right. built like a tank. Right. Tons of accessories. Tons of things you could do with it. So like, it's one of those headsets you can wear for like all day and be okay with it because it just fits comfortably around your eyes and you get everything to fit your face. But like using a Quest Two, that strap over there on the left, that's like a must-have. Like if you're buying the Quest Two, you need to go on and get you a, a strap like that, or go on Amazon and get one for like 30, 40 bucks. And um, I'm telling you, that was a game changer because the strap that comes with the Quest Two, I ain't gonna lie, is terrible. <laughs> like it's just, it's just terrible. It'll, it'll wobble all over your head and it won't sit comfortably. So if you're jumping around, playing Beat Saber, you're wild now. That is gonna come off your head. You're gonna have to constantly oh, adjust it. Yeah, because it got the little top piece. Yeah, oh. and the cushion on the back is way better. Okay. It's, it's, it's a night and day difference. A lot of people gotcha. were, were buying those and they were selling out immediately when they came out. But see, that's another tip that zookeepers, I couldn't even tell you about. Um, Gorilla Squad, like I told y'all, he laid it to me, y'all. So I had to make this video. I had to do my research. Uh, me and him is going to bring y'all this VR stuff to life. This is our next projects up into February on the Sony VR 2. I'm excited about it. I don't know if you're excited about it. Yeah, um, I'm going to check it out. Yeah, I can't wait to check it out. Less wires. Yeah. Uh, it's supposed to be... The um the refresh rates and the um the the clarity is supposed to be up there with the um quest too. I'm sure it's um, gonna be better than yeah. that. Yeah, and honest. but you see the price point on it. How much? It's called more than the PS5. The standalone well, is five fifty, and the bundle with the game because it's got a game that coming out at six hundred dollars. That's not. Bad. It's not that bad. It's but not that bad for the hardware. It's 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 still pricey, man. When you think about you got to own a PS5, so that takes it from. Uh, five fifty to ten fifty or eleven hundred dollars. Now yeah. that's worth it. I mean, in my opinion, it really depends on the games they launch for. If they launch a bunch of games for it, and it's good. Yeah, maybe. But I just hope yeah. that they actually don't skimp on the games this time. But so, is it gonna be because the PlayStation uh, regular VR didn't have like a VR chip? Is they gonna bring a whole world to it? Mm -hmm. And can you use it on PC? Because there was mods that you could use the the. Uh, the first PlayStation VR on the PC. It was I'm, tricky, but I'm, you could do it. I'm definitely sure they're going to. There's more out there that's going to do it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm definitely. <laughs> if they do you know, that, you uh, know. PC, I mean, PlayStation Architect is, is yeah. almost on par with a PC, so that shouldn't be no problem. But we'll see. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, Zookeeper, just keep a look at uh, here uh, soon, within a week or two, my uh, HTC Vive coming and my HP Reverb 2 G2 coming and Corey is excited about that HP um, uh, Reverb G2. He he really wants to see what that's yeah. about. I have no idea, no inkling on any of this stuff on the table. All I know is PSVR, and he said I was too smart to just be so um, one-sided. So I had to broaden my horizon. But um, that's it, Zookeepers. Um, we still gonna be doing everything that we gonna do, but we gonna interject some of these videos with these VR stuff, hopefully getting set up for the Sony PlayStation 2 VR. And man, just, just hang out with us. I'm glad uh, my better hand came over to uh, help me out with this video because I was going to try to <laughs> do this video uh, off of cards and you got somebody with true experience. Now, I wasn't going to lie to y'all, but I was just going to do mainly off of cards and he actually got experience. And like I said, this on the table comes from him. My last video, you can only see, I had the Quest 2. And so I went back to get the Quest 1, the real, like I told y'all, next week, uh, within the next two weeks, I have the Reverb G2 and I have the Vive, the HTC Vive. And so the only thing that I won't have, which he got, is the uh, Index. Uh, and soon before the PlayStation um, VR 2 come out, I get the index and we'll put everything together and show you our opinion on which is better, which come with what features and what to recommend. But so far, 
Corey is all up on board on Quest 2. That's, that's his baby. It's the best bang for the buck. I mean, show me something else that's better. I mean, that's just it. <laughs> but as always, the keepers, that's it. Well, your favorite gorilla. That's my best friend, Corey. Y'all just met him. Talk about your channel, man. Yeah, y'all come check me out. CPPC Tech with a K. T-E-K. I got computers. I got overclocking. I got graphics card reviews. Pretty much any kind of computer tech stuff you want to check out. Want to know how to build a computer for cheap? Holler at me. I love uh, seeing new people there. So y'all come check me out. And, and then uh, and that 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 PC that I got, he built it. Yeah. Built it from the ground up. Yeah. And he built it for this channel, Zookeeper. So yes, that's sir. that's my guy. So other than that, man, we um we the Gorilla Squad, and we out.